Hi dear students, welcome to my video classroom. This is a series of videos I would like to share you from the chapter Pantics. I hope you have watched all the previous videos. Now, today let us discuss one of the important topics from chemical kinetics. You remember in one of the previous videos I have told you there are different factors affecting rate of the reaction. One among them was concentration, pressure, temperature, catalyst. In this session we will discuss the details of the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction. It is a very important topic from the chemical kinetics. Therefore, you watch till the end. Make the note. If you find any difficulty, if you want any clarification, Please message me. I will attend your doubts. Okay. Let us discuss effect of temperature. You know, rate of reaction directly proportional to effect of temperature. When temperature increases, rate of reaction increases. We have the experience. Sometimes when we do any practical in the lab and you are not getting the result particularly in mixture analysis the teacher will suggest you you just heat it just warm it you will get the products and another I will give another example when you try to treat oxalic acid against the caminophore you have been suggested to warm the oxalic acid solution before titration because you are warming you are increasing the temperature will increase the rate of reaction now there is another term temperature coefficient you know what is the temperature coefficient it is rate constant at 35 degrees centigrade upon rate constant at 25 degrees centigrade and you know the difference between these two temperature is 10 degrees centigrade and that value will be in between 2 to 3 this is a definition of temperature coefficient it is the ratio of rate constants of a reaction at two temperatures differing by 10 degrees centigrade that is it is a ratio of rate constants of a reaction where the temperature difference is just just uh, to 10 degrees centigrade now i have shown here graph here the y-axis of the graph is number of molecules The x-axis is kinetic energy. Let me check the video. Okay. Uh, y-axis is number of molecules. X-axis is kinetic energy. Now, I, I got a graph like this. Do you, do you remember in gaseous state, you all learned the Boltzmann distribution velocity? sorry Maxwell distribution velocity I'm sorry that graph is copied here and this is T2 you know T2 is greater than T1 now this area A, B, C, D the molecule under this area A, B, C, D gives the products fine but when you the uh, same reaction carried out at high temperature that is T2 the plot is here therefore the entire area is 
ABCD plus CDEF. The entire area under T2 is ABEF. And you know the area is higher, therefore number of molecules will be higher. What is this molecule in this under this area shows? Number of molecules gives you products or number of molecules gives you effective collision. Please remember that word effective collision. I will discuss that in detail when collision theory was uh, introduced. Okay. Therefore, this is the introduction of effect of temperature. Now, I go to another topic, Arrhenius equation. Arrhenius, Arrhenius equation. Okay. It is the It is the equation relating rate constant or rate of reaction and temperature. Okay, here we are taking rate constant because when temperature increases, rate constant decreases. When temperature changes, rate constant changes. Remember, my students. Rate constant is a constant and it is independent of concentration of the reactants but depends upon temperature. Therefore, this is our equation K is equal to A into E raised to minus E by RT. Derivation of this equation is not the scope of our syllabus. You can derive this from thermodynamics. Okay, anyway, what is K? K is called the rate constant. What is A? A has different names. One is pre-exponential factor. Pre-exponential factor. Another name is Frequency factor under name Arrhenius factor or another one very important maximum rate constant maximum rate constant maximum rate constant okay this is all about the A. Unit of A is equal to unit of A is the unit of K. Unit of A is equal to unit of K. Okay. Now, what is A? What is the definition of A? If somebody asking what is the definition of A, I will tell you it is the total number of total numbers of collisions taking place taking place total numbers of collisions taking place per unit volume per unit time ok then total number of collisions imagine your reactants are colliding each other before giving the products maximum number maximum number of collisions total number of collisions possible in that reaction mixture that is A now we can go to the next two topics. What is E? Next concept. E. E is nothing but activation analogy. I will upload a separate video about the activation analogy in the topics kind of um, catalyst. Don't forget to watch that uh, top video. 
then you will get more idea about actuation energy. Its unit is kilojoule molus minus one. R is gas constant, T is temperature. R is gas constant and uh, T is temperature. Okay. Now what is E raised to minus E by RT? This is exponential factor. Exponential factor. It is unitless. You know why? Because E unit is this. R kilojoule mol raised to minus 1, Kelvin raised to minus 1, temperature Kelvin, therefore this Kelvin and this Kelvin cancelled, kilojoule per mole and kilojoule per mole cancelled, therefore it's a unitless. Then what is this? It is the fraction of collisions, fraction of effective collision, effective collision. If anybody has any problem with uh, uh, this word FD collision, please watch collision theory video where it will be more clear. Okay, this is all about our uh, Arrhenius situation. Is it okay? Will be okay? My son is, is the videographer. Okay, now equation number, uh, now, now I change the equation, log k is equal to minus e by rt plus log a, equation number 2. I derive this, suppose log k by dt, it's a constant, I will get e by rt square, equation number 3. Therefore, d log k is equal to e by rt square dt equation number 5 these are the various forms of Arrhenius equation remember sometimes there is a question which of the following is Arrhenius equation this is also Arrhenius equation now I apply logarithm table logarithm therefore log log k is equal to e by 2.303 rt plus log a now another one, log k2 by k1 is equal to e by 2.303 r t2 minus t1 all divided by t1 t2. Equation, this is suppose equation number 6 and this is equation number 7. Okay, therefore I have introduced to you seven different forms of Arrhenius equation. These seven will be used to calculate actuation energy. Fine. Okay. Now graphical expression. Graphical expression of Arrhenius equation. For that I use two equation log a is equal to minus e by r t plus sorry i am really sorry log k is equal to log log a you know what is uh, its graph log k 1 by t you will get a graph like this slope is equal to minus e by r now Suppose you take this log k is equal to e by 2.303 r t plus log a. Same type of a graph log k 1 by t but slope will be minus e by 2.303 r. Fine. Now, Suppose you, you draw a graph like this 1 by t log k, a graph like this, a graph like this, a graph like this. You know, I will tell you 
here uh, slope is negative therefore here uh, high negative slope high negative slope am i correct therefore if e should be high e should be high therefore high actuation energy high negative slope therefore it should be high actuation energy this is low actuation energy therefore when actuation energy increases the slope will be more more the graph will be more steeper fine now characteristics of arrhenius equation characteristics of arrhenius equation okay first is larger activation energy smaller rate constant or rate of reaction larger activation energy smaller rate of reaction second larger activation energy greater the influence of of temperature greater the influence of temperature third for lower temperature range for lower temperature range the increase the increase in temperature has greater as greater influence in rate constant in rate of reaction rate of reaction the lower in for in in lower temperature range in lower temperature range this is the lower temperature range because one pi t higher means temperature is lower lower the rate constant has greater influence on uh rate of the reaction it's an experimental evidence that is in the lower temperature range when you increase the temperature slightly the reaction will uh, increase more more but in higher temperature range when you go to the higher temperature range the fourth point in higher temperature range higher temperature range the increase in increasing temperature increasing temperature has less influence less influence so quite simple in a higher temperature range if you increase again the temperature rate of reaction will increase but the magnitude of increase will be less fine now we will discuss some extreme cases of extreme cases of arrhenius equation some ex extreme cases this is our our, our, our arrhenius equation first if e is equal to 0 what happen k is equal to a you know what is all what is a i said you a is maximum number of collisions total number of collisions therefore all collisions all collisions gives products okay you will understand uh, these things in detail when we will discuss collision theory second if e is infinity sorry if e is negative suppose e negative therefore e raised to minus c by rt a positive quantity positive value therefore k any problem k greater than a this is absurd idea absurd because k will be maximum rate of reaction will be maximum as the maximum number of collisions total number of collisions 
That's not possible. Therefore, you, you cannot have a negative activation energy. You can have a situation where zero activation energy. That's also uh, not possible practically. Now, if temperature is infinity, imagine. Therefore, temperature is infinity. Again, this term become 1, k is equal to a, same condition. Okay? Tem if temperature is 0, again, it's an absurd idea. Fine? Therefore, these are the extreme cases. I hope this video ha is helping, uh, helpful to you. Please watch it. Have a nice day. Thank you. Hi dear students, welcome to my video classroom. This is a series of videos I would like to share you from the chapter Pantics. I hope you have watched all the previous videos. Now, today let us discuss one of the important topics from chemical kinetics. Do you remember in one of the previous videos I have told you there are different factors affecting rate of the reaction. One among them was concentration, pressure, temperature, catalyst. In this session we will discuss the details of the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction. It is a very important topic from the chemical kinetics. Therefore, you watch till the end. Make the note. If you find any difficulty, if you want any clarification, Please message me. I will attend your doubts. Okay. Let us discuss effect of temperature. You know, rate of reaction directly proportional to effect of temperature. When temperature increases, rate of reaction increases. We have the experience sometimes when we do any practical in the lab and you are not getting the result particularly in mixture analysis the teacher will suggest you you just heat it just warm it you will get the products and another I will give another example when you try to write oxalic acid against the camera phone you have been suggested to warm the oxalic acid solution before titration because you are warming you are increasing the temperature will increase the rate of reaction now there is another term temperature coefficient you know what is the temperature coefficient it is rate constant at the 35 degrees centigrade upon rate constant at 25 degrees centigrade and you know the difference between these two temperature is 10 degrees centigrade and that value will be in between 2 to 3 this is a definition of temperature coefficient it is the ratio of rate constants of a reaction at two temperatures differing by 10 degrees centigrade that is it is the ratio of rate constants of a reaction where the temperature difference is just just uh, to 10 degrees centigrade now i have shown here graph here the y-axis of the graph is number of molecules The x-axis is kinetic energy. Let me check the video. Okay. 
pouquinho. É, o y-axis é isso, number of molecules. x-axis is kinetic energy. Now, I, I got a graph like this. Do you, do you remember in the HS state, you all learned the Boltzmann distribution velocity? Sorry, Maxwell distribution velocity, I'm sorry. That graph is copied here. And this is T2. You know, T2 is greater than T1. Now, this area, A, B, C, D, the molecule under this area, A, B, C, D, gives the products. Fine? But when it, the same reaction carried out at a high temperature, that is T2, the plot is here, therefore the entire area is A, B, C, D plus C, D, E, F. The entire area under T2 is A, B, E, F. And you know the area is higher, therefore number of molecules will be higher. What is this molecule in this under this area shows? Number of molecules gives you products, or number of molecules gives you effective collision. Please remember that word effective collision. I will discuss that in detail when collision theory was uh, introduced. Okay. Therefore, this is the introduction of effect of temperature. Now, I go to another topics, Arrhenius equation. Arrhenius, Arrhenius equation. Okay. It is the It is the equation relating rate constant or rate of reaction and temperature. Okay, here we are taking rate constant because when temperature increases, rate constant increases. When temperature changes, rate constant changes. Remember my students, Rate constant is a constant and it is independent of concentration of the reactants but depends upon temperature. Therefore, this is our equation K is equal to A into E raised to minus E by RT. Derivation of this equation is not the scope of our syllabus. You can derive this from thermodynamics. Okay, anyway, what is K? K is called the rate constant. What is A? A has different names. One is pre-exponential factor. Pre-exponential factor. Another name is Frequency factor, another name Arrhenius factor, or another one very important maximum rate constant. Maximum rate constant. Maximum rate constant. Okay. This is all about A. Unit of A is equal to unit of A is the unit of K. Unit of A is equal to unit of K. Okay. Now, what is A? What is the definition of A? If somebody asks him what is the definition of A, I will tell you it is the total number of total numbers of collisions taking place taking place total numbers of collisions taking place per 
unit volume per unit time okay then total number of collisions imagine your reactants are colliding each other before giving the products maximum number maximum number of collisions total number of collisions possible in that reaction mixture that is a now we can go to the next topics what is e next concept e e is nothing but activation analyzing i will upload a separate video about the activation analogy in the topics kind of um, that list don't forget to watch that uh, top video then you will get more idea about activation analogy its unit is kilo joule molar minus one r is gas constant t is temperature r is gas constant and the t is temperature okay now what is e raised to minus e by rt this is exponential factor exponential factor it is unit less you know why because e unit is this r kilo joule mole ratio minus 1 kelvin ratio minus 1 temperature kelvin therefore this kelvin and this kelvin cancel kilo joule per mole kilo joule per mole cancel the it is unitless then what is this it is the fraction of collisions fraction of effective collision effective collision if anybody has any problem with uh, uh, this word effective collision please watch collision theory video where it will be more clear okay this is all about our uh, arrhenius equation is it okay will you okay my son is is the video crafter okay now equation number uh, now i change the equation log k is equal to minus e by rt plus log a equation number 2 i derive this suppose log k by dt is a constant i will get e by r t square equation number 3 therefore d log k is equal to e by r t square dt equation number 5 these are the various forms of arrhenius equation remember sometimes there is a question which of the following is arrhenius equation this is also arrhenius equation now i apply logarithm table logarithm therefore log log k is equal to e by 2.303 rt plus log a now another one log k2 by k1 is equal to e by 2.303 r t2 minus t1 all divided by c1 t2 equation this is suppose equation number 6 and this is equation number 7 okay therefore i have introduced to you seven different forms of arrhenius equation this seven will be used to calculate activation analogy fine okay now graphical expression graphical expression of arrhenius equation for that i use two equation ln a is equal to minus e by r t plus sorry i am really sorry log k is equal to log ln a you know what is uh, its graph ln k 1 by t you will get a graph like this slope is equal to minus e by r now 
Suppose you take this log k is equal to e by 2.303 r t plus log a. Same type of a graph log k 1 by t but slope will be minus e by 2.303 r. Fine. Now, suppose you, you draw a graph like this 1 by t log k a graph like this a graph like this a graph like this you know, I will tell you here the slope is negative therefore here the high negative slope high negative slope am I correct? therefore e, e should be high e should be high therefore high actuation energy high negative slope therefore it should be high actuation energy this is low actuation energy therefore when actuation energy increases the slope will be more more the graph will be more steeper fine now characteristics of arrhenius equation characteristics of arrhenius equation okay first is larger activation energy smaller rate constant or rate of relation Larger actuation energy, smaller rate of reaction. Second, larger actuation energy, greater the influence of, of temperature. Greater the influence of temperature. Third, for lower temperature range, for lower temperature range, the increase, the increase in temperature has greater, has greater influence in rate constant, in rate of reaction, rate of reaction. The lower in for in, in lower temperature range, in lower temperature range, this is the lower temperature range because 1 by t higher means temperature is lower. Lower the rate constant has greater influence on uh, rate of the range. It's an experimental evidence. That is, in the lower temperature range, when you increase the temperature slightly, the reaction will uh, increase more more but in higher temperature range when you go to the higher temperature range the fourth point in higher temperature range higher temperature range the increase in increase in temperature increase in temperature has less influence less influence so quite simple. In a higher temperature range, if you increase again the temperature, rate of reaction will increase, but the magnitude of increase will be less. Fine. Now we will discuss some extreme cases of extreme cases of Arrhenius situation. Some ex extreme cases. This is our our, our, our Arrhenius equation. First, if E is equal to zero, what happened? K is equal to A. You know what is all what is A? I said you A is maximum number of collisions, total number of collisions. Therefore, all collisions, all collisions use 
products. Okay, you will understand uh, these things in detail when we will discuss collision theory. Second, if E is infinity, sorry, if E is negative, suppose E negative, therefore E raised to minus C by RT a positive quantity, positive value, therefore K, any problem? K greater than A. This is absurd idea. Absurd. Because K will be maximum. Rate of reaction will be maximum as the maximum number of collisions. Total number of collisions. That's not possible. Therefore, you, you cannot have a negative activation energy. You can have a situation where zero activation energy. That's also uh, not possible practically. Now, if temperature is infinity, imagine, therefore, temperature is infinity, again, this term become 1, k is equal to a, same condition, okay? Tem if temperature is 0, again, it's an absurd idea, fine? Therefore, these are the extreme cases. I hope this video is helping helpful you. Please watch it. Have a nice day. Thank you.